Good morning, everybody. I'm going to make myself breakfast today. And we're gonna show everyone what you're eating today? Sure. So in the winter, or like the colder cold. months of the year, she'll usually have the hot oatmeal in the packet. Which is, and oh. Which is this is what I normally eat. Usually I try to get something organic, but my parents cheap out and save a few dollars, unfortunately, so I gotta keep an eye on them. Uh, how many of these do I normally have? One or two? So these are 140 calories each. Uh, so sometimes I'll give her a two, sometimes I'll let her have one. You know, 140 isn't really enough for breakfast, but you know, 300 is a little high. I mean, just to have it from these bars. So they used to actually make these with a lot less ingredients. I think it was around 10, unfortunately. I guess they're trying to cheap out and just add more additives and filler. So I'll look uh, for some other stuff next time. But overall, these are just an okay source of caloric energy in the morning when you wake up, feed your gut bacteria. It's approachable, it's quick, it's easy. It's you know better than what the average American is eating. You, know, you could do a little better with a lot more work and you know, sometimes she will have uh, the bars in the morning for breakfast, but uh, she's actually having these as a snack lately for some more protein. And these are, you know, by far a better option, but I try to give her some variety. Otherwise, you know, honestly, most of the stuff my parents feed her is worse than these, you know, just eating these best bars every day. So we're going to have the bar for breakfast, you know, and usually drink some water with it, right? Uh, sometimes. Or I have organic uh, tea I drink. Organic ginger peach green tea. So if it's like a peach tea, that's actually not that bad because you know, the chemical mm. concerns are low. When you do have green tea or black tea, there is typically a fluoride concern in the leaves. Organic green tea, natural ginger flavor, natural peach tea flavor. So yeah, it's so it's, it. it's definitely not ideal, but if you guys are going for a tea, just try to get something that's only the herbs. So Jeannie's gonna have two of these bars and then we'll see her for lunch. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the afternoon. Oh, it's afternoon already. Hello. Jeannie, you have an interesting outfit on. What does your shirt say? It says, can you read this? Only, oh no, it says. I only look up to you because I'm short, so. Don't flatter yourself. I only look up to you because I'm short. It's true. What's up with the shoes, Gina? You gotta have sparkles in your life, so. I hope you didn't have to pay for those. I hope you stole them. <laughs> I don't steal things. I always buy things. We have. All told Gina, the lipstick is not needed and ridiculous, but she likes it, so. Why not? You've been having uh, peanut butter and jelly for lunch a couple days, right? Yep. Normally you just eat peanut butter out of the jar, though. Yeah, normally I do that. So let's make our sandwich. So it some of you might be thinking, Frank, peanut butter <laughs> and jelly, it's the end of the world, but peanut butter, although it's high in omega-6, <laughs> it, it could be a lot worse, and having it, you know, a couple times a month isn't that bad. You know, the Jelly is just you know, like basically that. organic grapes concentrated with organic sugar and then we have this bread from bread alone. I, mean, I just get this because you know they have a decent quality okay. sourdough starter and it tastes good. Nine grain I'm not really a fan of. I usually go for breads that are just one grain. It reduces you know the sourcing potential issues. You know how many agrochemicals are sprayed on them. Yeah I think their sourdough is a much higher quality bread in general but you know, this is more approachable for the peanut butter and jelly format. And all this really is, is a source of caloric energy, fat, carbohydrates to kind of get through the day. And it's enjoyable, it's easy to make, and kids would love this. You know, just by going organic, you reduce so many of the potential Oof. herbicide, pesticide, mold wow, issues with is, all of these wow, foods. Wow, this is thick bread. Not really, Gina. It's real thick. Sometimes I also have just have, if I'm not in the mood for jelly, I sometimes just Gina, what's up with the collar? It's actually a choker. I got this. Yeah, from no, I know what it is, Gina. Okay, let's just get back to the sandwich. Color. I got pumba stuck on the roof of my mouth. Lovely. Now to eat my delicious lunch. Now we usually use the organic white bread from Whole Foods, and ever since Bread Alone started making this one, I switched over to this. But that's definitely a bit more approachable for kids. Mm. If a peanut butter and jelly sandwich isn't approachable enough already. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see how that allergy then. How do you like it, Gina? It's so delicious. Is the bread okay? Mm-hmm. I never had sourdough bread before. Well, this isn't sourdough. This is the, just the sandwich bread. Mm. I like this bread. It's really good. 
All right, Gina, so we'll see them for dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, so these are the ribs uh, we made for the recipe video last Saturday. Uh, grass fed short ribs from Frankie's free range meat with the barbecue sauce that we made. So if you guys didn't see that video and you want to make these, definitely check it out. It's a great way to get meat into like a kid's or a picky eater's diet. You know, they chomp down on some giant rib with a sweet, salty sauce on it. They'll love it. So we're just going to pop this in the oven to warm them up. And that'll be dinner. Hi, YouTube people. I'm having ribs with Frank's delicious barbecue sauce. So Gina forgot <laughs> that we were supposed to film her eating dinner despite eating plenty of food today. Mm -hmm. How do you like the ribs, Gina? Delicious. I love the sauce. Yeah, Gina didn't get to try them last week so mm -hmm. remember so the time good. we had ribs before that mm -hmm. last year I think so, it's so good. well you actually got sick of eating them and didn't want them anymore mm. you don't remember that i don't remember now i could now i definitely enjoy them more because i haven't had them in forever so if you guys can't get someone in your family to eat enough meat just smother some barbecue sauce on it mm -hmm. all right gina so we'll see the youtube people for a snack mm -hmm. see you youtube people People, I'm going to get my snack. So Gina's snacks are all over the place. Today we're actually going to have some of the best bars from Frankie's Free Range Foods. So I showed these to you guys in my video on Tuesday. And a lot of you were asking where to get them. They're actually not on FrankiesFreeRangeMeat.com. They're available on FrankiesFreeRangeFoods.com. And as much as I would like to be able to ship them together, I just can't do it logistically with, you know, the styrofoam coolers, the dry ice. Uh, so this is the extra chocolate flavor. Ooh, extra chocolatey. Mmm. It tastes like a chocolate bar. It's delicious. Mmm. Yeah, if you guys have tried the best bars, definitely let me know down in the comments below how you like them. It's delicious. These are actually really good. The only ingredients are beef, tallow, chocolate, whey protein, honey, salt, and vanilla. Mm. Very, very minimal ingredient. No fiber cake-like texture, great for kids, younger kids. By far the best tasting and textured protein bar I've ever had. And I've tasted all of the ones available in the supermarket. Mm. That one bar is about 300 calories, so they're very dense, good for survival too. Mm. Definitely, I would definitely eat this if I was stranded in the woods with nothing to eat, I'd probably eat. So what do you have to say uh, about the food you had today, Gina? It's very really delicious. You like everything? Mm-hmm. I'd say the best bar is my favorite. Yeah, I mean, everything we've made today is really, really simple and easy. You know, we had the bars for breakfast, peanut butter jelly sandwich for lunch, leftover ribs for dinner, and this. You know, if we had something that was already cooked or prepped or on the go for dinner, we would have done zero cooking today, which is easy, you know, when I'm not here and my parents are with my sister. All right, Gina, I guess we'll see the YouTube people next time. See you next time, YouTube people.